Hello there, we have a numerical methods problem and we're going to be using the Taylor series in this example to approximate the value of sine of negative pi over 2. So our uh, problem statement is uh, how many terms of the Taylor series for sine of x are needed to approximate sine of negative pi over 2 with an absolute true error less than 0 0.05. Okay, so that sounds like a mouthful, but let's uh, break it down. Um, we're given uh, this right here, which enables us to calculate each term of the Taylor series by plugging in n values. So first you start with n equals 0 to get the first term, plus, and then you plug in n equals 1 to get the second term, and so on. All right, so we're going to do that. So for sine of x, you can either do that or if you've memorized it, that's also great. So we get sine of x expanded is x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the fifth or 5 factorial minus x to the seventh over 7 factorial and so on. So you'll keep doing that. This is the n equals 0 term n equals 1 n equals 2 and you just keep plugging in those terms the n values to get uh, each successive term alright uh, another important thing is what is the true error or the absolute true error so the true error is <coughs> going to be our actual value minus our approximated value. Okay, what exactly does that mean? Okay, so our, our actual value is the value sine of negative pi over 2. So with a calculator, you can find that the exact value for sine of negative pi over 2 is negative 1. All right? And our approximated value is going to be come directly from the Taylor series expansion and plugging in each of these terms. So someone might say, what is the... Taylor series approximation with one term, and that's just this. With two terms, you have x minus x cubed over 3 factorial, and so on. All right, so what we have to do is keep adding on terms of the Taylor series until we get um, within a certain accepted value for the uh, absolute true error, and I forgot to say that, but the that right there is the actual um, that's the uh, true error, but the absolute true error is just the absolute value of this. Not too difficult. So the best way to do this would be setting up a table of values with your respective n values, your terms, the approximation, and then the absolute true error. All right, so let's do that. All right, here we go. So starting off, the first one's not too bad. Our end value is 0, and the term is just x, and we get an approximation of negative 1.571. And this just comes from plugging in negative pi over 2 into here, and that is our approximation, and our absolute true error is 0 0.571 as you'd expect negative 1 minus negative 1.571 gives us 0 0.571 all right and continuing whenever we have our end value of 1 we have our previous term and we also add on this and our approximation is negative 0 
and the absolute true error here is 0 0.075. All right, let's do one more term. So if n equals 2, the Taylor series expansion will be it's a little tight. Apologize. Okay, and then when you plug in negative pi over 2 into this right here, you'll get negative 1.00452. And our absolute true error is 0 0.00452. And when you look at that, um, our problem statement said that we want to keep repeating this process until we get an absolute true error less than 0 0.05 and this is indeed less than 0 0.05 alright so to sum that up in a nice statement we can say that three terms were needed to arrive at the approximation sine of negative pi over 2 is negative 1.00452 which has an absolute true error of 0 0.00452 and I'll write that for your convenience All right, I hope I explained the steps in enough detail and I hope you understood all of these steps and how to arrive at the answer. Thank you for watching.